In this video, I'm going to explain to you the number one best Forex trading strategy that actually works. If you are a Forex trader and you're looking for a strategy that actually has a proven edge, then you are in the right place. Now, I know that there's a lot of guys out there on YouTube that are making videos about stuff that they don't really know what they're talking about. And they're making videos about strategies that may work in theory, but when you actually test it in the real live market, it doesn't actually work. Now, the strategy that I'm going to show you is very simple to implement. It's also something that doesn't take forever to trade because it is some sort of a scalping strategy where we're just taking bite-sized chunks out of the market. And the best part about this is that it's proven. This is a strategy developed by a friend of mine named Yuya Kato, who is one of the most successful and most consistent Forex traders on the planet. At this time, he's a 15 time funded professional prop trader, and he's literally helped dozens and dozens of our students become successful successful traders using this strategy that we call volume reaction trading. And it's different than likely anything else that you've seen on YouTube. And here's why it's different. And here's why it actually gets results. Most people, when they're trading, they try to predict the market. But as you know, the markets are almost completely unpredictable. They walk in a random event or a random series of events. And so it's almost impossible to predict. So in this video, we're going to show you volume reaction trading, why it's different and why you don't have to try to predict the markets, but how we can simply react to what price is already doing. Hi, my name is Adam Winnig, and we created this whole channel to make your trading easy, lucrative, and fun. So if you'd like to make your trading easy, more lucrative and more fun, then go ahead and click the like and subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any other important videos. Okay, in this video, I'm going to explain volume reaction trading and why this is one of the most successful trading strategies that I've ever seen and how it's allowed completely new traders to become really successful and consistently successful traders. It's called volume reaction trading. And again, the difference here is, is that we're going to teach you how to react to the market instead of trying to predict the market, which is what pretty much everybody else does. And it's the reason why pretty much everyone else fails. Now in this video, I'm actually going to be going through this little cheat sheet, which goes through in depth of basically exactly how to trade the strategy. And it shows you a ton of examples. So what you need to do right now is pause the video and actually download download this so we can go through it together. Simply go to blueedgeforex.com slash VRT and download it right now. It's completely free and it'll explain this a little bit more in depth in this video. So the way the video is going to work is I'm going to give you a quick overview of the checklist and then I'm actually going to bring on Yuya, the guy that created this strategy. That's one of the best traders that I know and he's going to run through a couple of examples for you. So let's go ahead and let's determine how this actually works. The best part about this strategy is that we really only need to look at like two currencies when we're trading. So mostly we're going to be trading uh, gold, which I guess is a commodity and GBP JPY. And these are the two ones that we're going to have the most focus on. Now, the ideal time to look for trading opportunities is basically an hour before the London or New York session, because this is when the volume is really going to kick up. And again, we're volume reaction traders. We're reacting to volume. So this is going to be the best opportunities. Now, again, this is going to make a little bit more sense when I break it down with Yuya in a live example in just a second. But just to give you an overview, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up the daily chart. And this is where we're going to help determine our bias. So we're going to determine, hey, are we in an uptrend or are we in a downtrend essentially? And we're also going to draw support and resistance zones. Now you'll notice that when we get to the video where I cut in Yuya, you're going to see that he a lot of the times will cut to the line chart to determine where key resistance and support zones are. And you'll notice he'll take one right at kind of where price is, one above price and one below price. So we can set kind of this range that price is moving into. And he'll also draw a Fibonacci, which he'll explain in just a second. Then what we're going to do is we're going to simply snap down into the four hour time frame and we're going to look for price action that's happening in these key zones that we've just gone ahead and drawn. And we'll also use the Fibonacci again. Now to get the risk reward into our favor, we're then going to further drop down into like the 30 minute time frame, And this is where we're actually going to be looking for our trades. And this is going to help us put the stop loss at a smaller level so we can get better risk to reward trades. And you also notice Yuya saying that I'm only going to take a trade if my stop loss makes sense. And for GJ, he's pretty much only going to look for a stop loss that's within 15 to 30 pips maximum, meaning that if it's a 50 pip stop 
loss, he's likely not going to take the trade. And with gold, it's a 30 to 50 pip stop loss, meaning that if the stop loss is like over 50 pips, then a lot of times he's not going to take this trade. Okay. Now, as far as taking profits go on the strategy, there's a couple different things that we can do. He'll sometimes do a fixed one to one or a one to two risk to reward. And we know that because we've studied over 43 million retail trades. And we've seen that if you simply have a one to one risk to reward ratio or higher, your success, your chance at success becomes infinitely greater than if you have a less than one to one risk to reward ratio. You can also take profit at your next support and resistance zone or the 127 or 161. Fibonacci extension levels. Now, all this is going to make a little bit more sense when I snap to Yuya here right now. So we're looking at this day. Obviously, you know, we're, we're seeing bearish momentum. But when we grab our line chart, you know, and we do that, we're trying to grab the most current, you know, where price currently is at. And we can grab this level right here. We have a resistance. We have supports. Most likely we have touches from this area. And then we have this close right here. So we know that this area is a very strong area. The next area we can possibly say it would be this area because we have supports. We have a little resistance right here. We have supports right here. So that could be the one right above. And the last one right below could most likely be this area because, you know, we have a, you know, support right here. And, you know, I mean, we could also put it right here, but we might as well just put it here because it's, you know, it's, it's closer to where current price is at. And then after we see that, we go back to the candles. And then our magnetic zones make sense. The reason why I love wicks, these are wicks. The reason why I love wicks is because the wicks tell you a story. It tells you where um, a strong point in the market is of a pair. Like it's showing you where liquidity is, where volume is. So in this area, buyers are trying to protect their, um, you can say their house, their area. They don't want this area to break. So that's the reason why we saw a huge push right back up. This is the daily candle. And if we flip to the four hour, we see an engulfing candle off of that. So that's what I'm looking for. So um, say we just hop down um, at this time and we're looking at the market and, you know, we don't even have our daily zones. We're like, oh, okay, I might be looking for sales. But then once you do your daily lines, it starts to make sense. Okay, boom. We, we can call this, you know, I, I just call it a rejection candle. I don't want to um, keep it complicated with all the names, but we have a rejection candle and it rejected off of one of my daily magnetic zones and it closed above another da daily magnetic zone. We can, like I said, all these lines are sub subjective, but at the end of the day, that wick is telling your story that it rejected. It didn't want to push through. So what we're thinking now is, okay, let's, let's go back on the four hour and let's look for engulfing candles. So technically, we got an engulfing candle here. And, you know, if we were lucky, we could run our fibs like that. And then, you know, we can do the same thing off of that and wait for a 30-minute retracement. Or what you can do is if everyone can see a range being formed right here, you wait for a range to break, you know, either direction. But the whole aspect of this range trading is – finding the range on the 30 minute time frame because it's a lot easier on the eyes than a four hour time frame and the 30 minute time frame you know obviously you have more time to be able to like enter trades and everything like that so one you can go off of this four hour candle the engulfing candle and wait for a retracing back to the 61 or you can go and just wait for a 30 minute range to break either the highs over here or the lows right here and that's what you kind of would do so in this situation you would kind of just wait, you know, or price to kind of like reject or re um, see if we can get a retracement back to this level or not. So we got that first touch on the 61. So in this case, I have one confluence is the daily, my daily magnetic zone having a rejection candle on the daily. That's one confluence. The four hour having another, I, you can call this an engulfing candle. I know this is a strong candle, but it's just still an engulfing candle in my eyes. You know, we have two right there confirmation and I'm grabbing the fibs off of that engulfing candle. And then three, I have a 61.8 retracement off of that four hour engulfing candle. That's three confluences. Now I got to see if my stop loss is under 20 pips and then it'll make sense for me. So in this case, this is a 58 pip stop loss. So for me, I would not feel comfortable with this. So I would be like, 
okay, I'm going to wait for maybe this, these highs to break, you know, and in the later seminars, you'll, you'll start to see more opportunities, even with this setup where you can find entries. But for now, I do not want to teach that. But um, in this, in this case right here, I would most likely not take it because we have, because I always keep my stop loss right on my 23.6. And for it to be a 54 pip stop loss, it just does not make sense. So I would want these 30 minute highs to break before I enter anything. So in this case, I would not take this trade no matter what it does. And I wouldn't feel bad about it. So boom. So now we got that 30 minute break over here. You know, for some people that are fine with a 54 pip stop loss, you know, you would have hit your take profits with that. And then say you entered right here and then, you know, you hit your take profits. You could enter another trade. One, you could be an aggressive trader, take it off of this 30 minute engulfing candle or 30 minute candle that closes above that range and just put your stop loss right below it. So what you can do is take longs right off of that close right here and stop loss, you know, right above that wick. But to me, like I said, it's not it's not a, a trade that's under 20 pips. So I personally wouldn't feel comfortable. But this is where now, instead of running your fibs on a four hour, you would run your fibs on the 30 minute like this. And now you would just wait for a retracement off of that 30 minute candle that broke that range. And then you would wait, you know? So technically, say you would have entered here and then your stop loss would have been, let's see. So say you would have went right off of that touch of that, oh, shucks. You would have went right off of that touch of that 61. You know, and then the 23 level was under 20 pips. I would take it. This is a one-to-one -one right here. And then obviously, as soon as you, you're keeping an eye, it touched right here. You could have a, a buy limit right there. Boom. You would have been in about, I would say, about a 10 pip drawdown. But boom, you came right back. And now you're up about 11 pips. So, you know, most likely in this situation, depending on the time, I would, I would sometimes put my stops at break even. And then obviously your take profit would have been hit right here, right off of this 30 minute engulfing candle. You could have took it off of this engulfing candle, put stops here, but then your TPs would have had to been like, you know, much higher. So depending on the type of trader you are right here, technically, you know, your TP would have been, you would have 37 pip stop loss. You would need 37 pips. And in this case, I don't know what's going to happen, you know? So your TP was still been hit, but I think psychologically just being in this trade this long and having such a big stop loss is just going to mess up your mind psychologically. And that's the reason why I wait for these kind of breaks, like the 30 minute break on a ranging market. And I grab the fibs of that 30 minute candle that breaks it. And then I wait for a 61.8 retracement, 50 or 38. So if the 61.8 was about 40 pips, the 50 retracement was about 30 pips and then 38.2 was 20. I would just keep a buy limit or wait for the 38.2 to be touched before I enter any trade. Because like I said, on GJ, I, I only want a, tw a 20 pip or less kind of stop loss for me to feel comfortable about entering trade. But in this scenario, that stop loss was only 16 pips. So I felt very comfortable. And that's the reason why I took it. And I was in and out after two candles within an hour. Hey, if you thought this video was helpful and you would actually like to trade live in the mornings, this strategy with Yuya, then go on over to fundedtraderfasttrack.com and fill out an application to join his coaching and mentorship program. We actually get to trade with him live. And if you haven't done so, please like and subscribe to the channel as well as turn on the post notifications and feel free to check out some of the other helpful videos on our channel.